Hello, booktube slash author tube. This is a way more author tube video. Um, so I don't know why everything's all glitching. I hope it's not like that on the recording, actually. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, there's a lot of stuff coming up um, for writers. Um, for those of you who are doing the... I heard there was a Writetober that has nothing to do with Inktober or anything like that. If you know about that, let me know down below. Because um, I might be interested in taking a look at that just to see what's what. But last year I did this, um, and Brit the Change was doing it too, and I think she's doing it this year too. But basically what we do is we take the Inktober prompts and write... Um, shorts about those things um this year i'm doing something different where i'm trying to write a serialized story um, about this detective um so i did those two today well i because it's a long story if you saw the video i did with the where i was trying to do like a comic strip with the ink and stuff that's really fun, and I would like to keep doing that, but that's very time-consuming, and I could be getting a lot more done if I was just writing. So um, that's where I'm going to go right now. But I do like coloring things in with a big fat marker. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so anyhow, um, what I wanted to kind of go over, for those of you who know don't know, um, I write stuff. And um, I write stuff under my name, and then I also have Weird Mask, um, which is a genre fiction zine that used to be print form, um, but until I could get my office built up here, um, I'm not even going to think about printing those out. We're going strictly um, just digital and online. Did you just yell, come dancing? Wow. What a train wreck that chick is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway. So, um, because the Wrighttober thing's going on right now, um, also with Weird Mask, we have the um, races that we do every month. Um, and the Weird Mask 2500's coming up um, this month. I haven't decided when to do it yet, but... Um, I'll probably start talking about that soon here. And then we're all preparing to get ready for NaNoWriMo next month. Um, and in NaNo, the book I'm going to be working on is um, book six in the Black Star series. A series I haven't um, gone back to for a few years now because I ended it and then I'm like, nah, I'm not going to end it. So, bleh. Um... With that being said, um, October also is, you got your creepy, gothic-y, hoary kind of stuff. Um, so there's that as well. And um, I've been trying to figure out the best way to use my time um, as a writer. How to measure everything out, figure out what books... I should be writing as opposed to which books I should just maybe turn into short stories and leave them over there. Um, also, um, I'm doing a lot of marketing right now um, with Amazon, and I'm going to be doing um, ads with the different marketing sites. So I probably will be able to come back and tell you how those worked out and... Um, like, obviously, BookBub's the one you always want. Um, ENT, um, free Kindle books and tips. Um, there, there's an, a bunch of sites that are great. Um, and even Fiverr ads. I've had Fiverr ads work great for me in the past. Um, not great, but I mean, like, especially if you have a free book, a $5 Fiverr ad um, will get you a lot of downloads, which is kind of nice. Anyway. So you're probably looking at the screen saying, what the F is happening right now? So basically, um, I was listening to somebody talk about 
how they keep track of what they're supposed to be doing. And the thing that they said that was fascinating to me, and I'm probably reading into this more than what they actually said. Um, usually if someone tells me a good idea, I stop listening to it as soon as I hear that there's a good idea there and I start like building my own idea off of it. But basically what he does is that at the beginning of the month, he sends himself an email and I don't know if he schedules to send it to himself at the end of the month or if he just goes back and looks at it every month. But either way, um, if you want to send yourself a surprise from the past, that's kind of fun. But what he does is he sets out like um, his like two to five year plan, um, month by month, what he's supposed to be doing at the beginning of the month. And then he also says what he hopes to achieve that month. And then at the end of the month, he looks at that email and he's like, oh, I did this, 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 and that. I did not do these things. I completely failed at this, blah, 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 blah. So with that information, he then looks at his master list and is like, okay, so what do I need to do now to fix that? Let me do this, 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 this. Send, and then he'll look at that again at the end of the month and kind of go over everything like that. And that is a really cool way to um, not only keep yourself motivated, but keep yourself focused, I guess. So what I did here was um, I'm not planning that far in advance with certain things. But the list on the left, this is kind of like my master list of um, the things that will be happening and when they're going to be happening, basically. So what I have on this list is... On the 15th of October, the third Black Star book will come out. Um, and right now on Weird Mask, I have a serial running called um, Space 1959. Um, and that is going to end on Monday, November 11th. It's been coming out every Monday. Um, then the next Monday, I'm going to be starting this one. Now, if those of you who had the print copies of the zine, you'll remember that this was in there. So now it's going to be every Monday from November 18th through December 30th. Um, and then also in December, the fifth Black Star book will come out. Now, once this fifth Black Star book comes out, that means the all the five Black Star books that um, are kind of like back catalog are now out and available again. And I can start focusing on the new stuff, which is where we go here with um, Black Star Book 6 um, is scheduled for the 14th of January. So that is going to be my um, nano book. And so hopefully that will all hit like that. Now, in, once we get into February, because once this whole Black Star thing is, that's going to be like a four-month, five-month blast of Black Star stuff. So I need a lull there. Um, I probably don't, but me personally, I need the lull. So um, the re-releasing of my zombie books. Now, these books were originally called um, Zombie Alpha, and then those didn't sell very well with that title. Um, I think people didn't know what the hell it was. Um, and then... We changed the name of the series to The Brain Thief because it's basically a um, if Dexter was a zombie, like the first zombie that ever happened, and is doing experiments on other people to try to figure out what's going on with this um, virus that's turning people into stuff. But only him, because he's the first one. So, um, we're changing the titles, and at the moment, the titles are kind of... Um, I, I'm not sure how I feel about the titles yet. But anyway, so... Um, and I think we're going to change the name of the series to Zombie Zero. Um, so in February, I have the first two of those books with names that might be changed. Um, coming out March the 3rd, April the 4th, 
Um, and then we're back um, in May. We're down here back to how we were in January with Black Star, where um, we have new stuff that I'm going to be writing. So um, what I've been wanting to do, so Rise of the Roman Empire, um, the guy's name is Dr. Roman, um, so that's where that comes from. But this is like a post-apocalyptic world now that um, in this storyline, the um, virus is now out and everybody is getting it kind of thing. So he's just the first of many now. Um, the Dr. Roman BZ books this title will probably change as well um this is before he was infected because um he was a serial killer before he became a zombie so this will all be just like serial killer um stuff so i want to write a book of each one of those series and put them both out at the same time and kind of see which one um gets any kind of traction um, then we'll do the next Black Star book. And then as far as that goes, um, I don't really have anything in stone. And there's a reason for that. Um, basically, I have, um, what I did then is I took all of my, um, stuff that is basically stuff I'm working on right now for the most part. So I have my current series with my Black Star, Zombie Zero, and then I also have my Hank Bradshaw, Hard Boiled Detective, like 50s um, style guy. These books are super easy and super fun to write, so I should be throwing one of these up every couple months anyway. Um, so that's just something I can be doing and focusing on right now. The series that are on hold, Black Market Blood Drive, it's like a vampire mafia series that I wrote one book to and then never went back to it because um, it did not do well and I don't know if it was um, vampire fatigue right after Twilight which could very well be what it was or it was just a crap book and no one had the heart to tell me <clears throat> just kidding um, talking about me. yeah but I'll talk to you about that in a minute so then we have the current serials, uh, Space 1959, um, this one. And if you notice, this says WM at the back. That's Weird Mask. Um, now these ones also, I need to change these because I changed my mind on this last night. These ones also are going to be going onto Weird Mask, Gavel and Hitman Black, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But then I had my list of incomplete stories. Now, some of these are books I've written almost the entire book of. Some of them um, are books that I just started. Others are scripts that I wrote that now I'm turning them into books. Um, so that's just like the incomplete pile. Um, and then in development are like things that I've been wanting to do that I actually have no written words for. And then um, down here I have the shelved finished projects, which means these are done, and I could put these out, but for the time being I'm deciding that I do not want to. Um, Bloodlust Romance and Bloodlust Revenge, that's one series. It's like a very violent, gruesome um, horror stuff that probably for current year won't fly without huge rewrites. And then Crystal and Relapse, this is from the Shallow Jallow series. Um, I would like to put those out. They're really fun, but I don't know how to market those right now. Because um, they are parodies of crime films from the 70s from Italy that probably, like, a very small fraction of people have even seen. So to read a book that's a parody about it... Um, I don't know how that would work for everybody. Um, and marketing the books are the hardest part, because even right now with um, Black Star, I'm having a hard time, because Black Star has such a huge cast that are all going through separate things that I don't know how to market these accurately to everybody. So when we get into like the zombie books down here, when we get to the Roman Empire books... These are going to be easy as hell because they're just straight up post-apocalyptic zombie books. 
that'll be easy. That'll be a very simple market to target. Um, but even the the Zombie Zero books as a whole are kind of tricky because they are science fiction. There's um, body horror and stuff in it as well. But when you really get down to it, it's kind of a police procedural from an unreliable narrator that everyone, like you and the main character, know that they're unreliable. So it's just, it's not an easy book to sell. Because like when you're doing genre fiction, you need to have it be so plain on who you're selling this book to that Amazon will be very happy to help you sell that book. If you don't know who to sell that book to, um, Amazon will basically give up. And when you hear people talk about like the 30-day cliffs and all that stuff where their book was doing really good and then it just like vanished off of Amazon and I'm getting no sales and blah, 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 blah. It's probably because your... Um, who you were marketing that book to when you're picking your categories and your keywords um, didn't make enough sense to Amazon to be able to continue to push that book. It was too much of a maybe, whereas there's other books that are very cut and dry. Oh, this is a book about pirates doing piratey things. This is something we can sell, as opposed to, oh, this is a book about a zombie that's really a nice guy and is now a gymnast working with the Mexican Mafia in Australia. Like, you're mixing too... That's not what my book's about, by the way, but that's just, like, mixing too many things in there, and it makes it hard for them to market it. And you want Amazon to market your book because they're way better at it than you are. Um, so that's the whole idea with that. Um, but taking all of my stuff, I was going to actually show you... Um, what my Scrivener files look like right now. But, I mean, this isn't even all the stuff. This is just the stuff that is stuff that could be books that I could sell on Amazon. Um, all of the short stories and... Um, Sorry. It's okay. It's just... She's playing with marbles over there or something. It's just really hard to, like, concentrate. It's my pens. I'm sorry. I know, I know. It's okay. Um... But anyway, so that's that. So anything that I can't make into a book and sell on Amazon, I didn't even put in this list. Um, because if I'm not going to be doing that with that, I'll just be doing that on the website. Which brings us to the calendar. Now, um, what I have here is... Um, everything that's going on this month. And I don't think you can see the difference between the blue and the green. I wish there was different colors. Maybe I could figure out a way to do that. Um, but basically, anything that's blue is going to be on my website. And then anything that's green or the work, that's Weird Mask. And um, so I have like the release dates for when everything's coming out. So now what I have to do with this calendar is basically take things that, um, like for instance, like right here, the boy in the rain. Okay. This, um, I put up today on weird mask tomorrow. We will have the grave robber. So, or not on weird mask on, I hate mountwall.com. So all of these, now these right here from, this all through to, um, yeah, basically the whole month. It's all of my, like, kind of gothic -y poetry that I wrote, like, a million hundred years ago. Um, but what I really wanted to show you here <clears throat> is that, so after we have Space 1959, um, we have this title launching on November 18th. That takes us into um, December 30th is when it ends. So what's going to happen then is this first day um, of the new year, the first Monday, which would be January 6th, um, 
what I'm going to be doing in 2020 is I have two series that I did um, serials of and sold them on Amazon. But they were all really short, like in between eight and 10,000 word episodes, which um, is not great. And even if I were to take all of the gavel books and write the end of this arc, that would still only be probably like a 35,000 word book. Which isn't bad, and I could probably put all those together and do a book of it later, which I'll probably end up doing. Um, with Hitman Black, it's a three-story um, arc, and those ones are shorter than the gavel. So that would end up being, um, like right now I think it's um, like 17,000 words, and then with the other one in there, um, I'll be lucky to get up to... 25,000. So what I decided to do with this um, is all next year I have the first gavel book fight night being serialized every week um, through March 30th. And then we go to um, Hitman Black, The Lone Star of Texas and that takes us through to June 8th, which is where the second gavel book, City of Darkness, comes in, and that goes through till August 24th. Hitman Black 2, which is um, Windy City Blood, um, starts on August 31st and takes us to November 2nd. And then um, Bodies in the Hangman's Noose, the third gavel book, goes through till January 18th, 2021. So that means I have a whole year of um, weekly serials that are going to be coming up that's on a platform like Weird Mask is geared towards genre fiction. So... For a year, every Monday, I'm going to have my characters in a place where they should be for people who like that kind of stuff. The gavel is like a um, pulp action hero kind of guy. Um, and Hitman Black will eventually become more of an assassin, spy, espionage kind of thing. But right now in these books... Um, he doesn't know who he is. And um, like a dumbass, I decided to start with an origin story that would be completely different from anything that he would end up doing later. Um, and then I realized that that was freaking stupid and boring. And anyone who would want to read an awesome spy action story is not going to enjoy watch or reading this book of this guy with his thumb up his butt while he's blowing stuff up so what this means is that now i have all next year to work on um tying up these storylines and putting those books out and then i could actually work on the actual like fifty thousand plus word gavel novel and hitman black novel that i've been wanting to write for freaking i don't know like five years now so um that'll be really cool it, it gives time to get everyone used to the characters and it gives me time to work on the stories now the reason why this is coming up um talking about like time to work on stuff and everything is because I was talking to a writer friend of mine who was really wanting to be able to put something out every month. And um, she was getting a little um, disheartened because she wasn't writing enough words to make sure she could get something out this month. And um, I... I'm fully aware of how word counts 
put pressure on you to work. And sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. I like having pressure put on me. Um, I feel like I do better when I'm like um, under the gun kind of thing. But I know that's not for everybody. So what I was saying to her was, I'm like, look, you can still write something and release something every month if you want to do that. You just have to start it different. So if you want to put something out every month right now, put something out every month starting in January. But right now you're working on it. So now you have like three months to get ready to where you're always going to have something to put out. So if this month you could finish the thing that you wanted to put out um, normally, then it would come out in January. And then when you get to November, you could work on the thing that you're going to put out in February. When you get to December, you'll per work on the thing that you put out in March. And it's just giving yourself that time. I don't know... And I used to be like this, too. We used to do serials, and um, I would start working on them Thursday or something, um, finish it by Sunday, and then we would do a quick edit on it, and then have it up on Amazon by Tuesday morning, like to where you can actually buy it. So our turnaround time was a week on... Um, 10 to 15,000 word episodic serials. And it was very stressful, but that stress for me was fun, but I know that that stress isn't fun for everybody. And that stress is fun for a certain amount of time, and then it starts to take its toll on you a little bit. So just have more realistic expectations as to when you want to start putting stuff out. Um, if you want to start putting stuff out monthly or weekly or whatever, just make sure you have enough in the bag to be able to put that stuff out. If you look at this um, calendar right here, all this stuff here is already written. Everything I'm putting out in October is done, except for the right-tober, because I'm writing those as we go. Um, and then when we get into November... Um, all the love and hate, because I'm bringing love and hate back. All of these I have to write. Um, but I have plenty of time right now to do it, because I don't have to really write anything in October. So um, I'll be working on that in October to have it out for November. Um, this serial is already done, so I'm just putting that out. All this stuff up here is already done. Um and then when we get to the serials that are going to be in Weird Mass, those have been done for years. So, um, I really have time to focus on the sixth Black Star book in November. I could write the, um, the Zombie Zero book that's going to be coming out in May, in December, and January. And then work on the next Black Star book that I have here coming out in um, June, in January and February. So everything just like kind of, if you give yourself enough time and you have enough back catalog stuff, whether you're putting your stuff out online or you're putting it up on Amazon, you should be able to do it. Um, and just give yourself realistic um, word counts too. Like I used to do... Um, in between three to 6,000 um, words a day was my word count that I needed to hit. Um, and if I didn't hit those, I'd lose my freaking mind. Um, and then it was like 3,000 for a really long time. I'm like, well, I know I could hit it, so let me just do that. Now I only have 1,000 because I know I could hit 1,000, and as long as I write it, then I can do it. Um... And even if I missed a day, writing an extra thousand words to catch up on your word count really isn't that big of a deal. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think about all this stuff down below. Um, if you use any of this stuff for your writing, if you do the sending yourself an email, if you use your calendar on your computer, if you uh, plan out far in advance. Um, I'm really interested because, like, process 
is one of the things that interests me most about um, how people do their writing. So um, let me know down below, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.